In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do this. The old school video effect is really cool because it can give your footage a lot of character and it can really transform your videos. The great thing about this effect is that you don't need to do anything specific when you're on set and you're filming the video. You just film the video as you would and then when you get this onto your computer, all of the work transforming this into old school footage is done right there inside of the edit. So once you've chosen your footage, it's time to get onto the computer and begin with this old school effect. So once you have your footage inside of Adobe Premiere, we want to begin by creating a new adjustment layer to put on top of our footage. So we'll make sure that's 1920 by 1080, drag it onto the timeline, and then we'll just make sure that that's covering up the whole of the video. Now go into effects, and you want to search for wave warp. And we're just gonna drop wave warp on top of the adjustment layer. Now in the effects, we want to change the wave type to square. We want to go to the direction and change this to zero. Change the wave height to around 700. As long as this is over 500, then you're okay. We'll change the pinning to all edges. And then we can just change the wave speed to 0 0.1. And if we look at this, you'll see that there's this warping effect carrying up through the screen. And this is kind of reminiscing of that old VHS video effect. So now from here, we want to add some noise. So we'll go into effects, search for noise, and we'll just drag that on top of the adjustment layer. And in noise, we're just gonna pull this up to around 20%. And if you look at the video, it looks really noisy and really old all of a sudden. So that's a great first step. Now we just wanna pull the adjustment layer up to video layer four, and we're just gonna copy the nested sequence. That's the footage. And we just wanna paste that two times. So we've got two copies of that. So you should have three video layers of the same. And we're just going to go into the effects tab and search for RGB, making sure that all of the layers are selected. And we'll just drop color balance RGB on top of all of these. Now on this first layer, we want to make sure that the green and the blue is set to zero. On the second layer, we want to make sure that the red is set to zero and the blue is set to zero. And on that final layer, we want to make sure that green and red are both set to zero. So now if we go through and we look at all of these channels individually, you'll notice that the second layer is green. The bottom layer is blue and that top layer is red and that's our RGB color channels. So now selecting the top layer we want to go up to opacity and change the blending mode to screen. We'll do the same thing with the second layer, change this to screen. And we don't need to do that for the bottom layer because the top two layers only need to be screened. So with the top layer we just want to go through up to motion and we want to change the scale up to around 105 and you can see the color aberration effect is starting to bleed through. Now from here, we just want to change the aspect ratio. So we're going to create some new black videos by going to new item. And we'll just drag two black videos on top of all of our footage. And we'll just make sure to extend those just to cover up the whole of the video. Now making sure both of those are selected, you want to go back into effects, search for crop, drag crop onto both of those layers. And on the top video, you want to make sure that the left is cropped to around 90%. And the bottom black video layer, you want to make sure that the right is cropped to 90%. And that is that old school aspect ratio. That's a 4-3 aspect ratio. So now from here, you just want to select the two black video layers and the adjustment layer. And we just want to add a new adjustment layer. And this just so that I can color grade the video because I shot this in a flat color profile. So we go back up to effects and we just want to search for Lumetri color. So we'll scroll all the way to the bottom and there's Lumetri color. So we'll just drop that on top of that adjustment layer there and we'll go into basic correction and we'll just set this to anyone. So let's set that to the Alexa default log. And there you go, we've got some color now into our video. So to progress from here, we need to actually add the VHS video overlay effect and you can download these from the internet. There's loads of these on YouTube. So once you've found one and downloaded it, you just wanna throw it on top of all of your footage and then we just wanna adjust the scale. So I'm just gonna pull that down to around 50. And now from here, we just want to make sure that this overlay is underneath the black video layers and the adjustment layers. So we'll just pull those on top. And now from here, we just need to change the blending mode of this video layer. So we'll go up to opacity and change this to screen. And there you go, that's basically it. Although my problem with this video is it's slightly overexposed. So I'm just gonna add some levels onto this just to pull the exposure down a touch. So we'll drag levels onto that adjustment layer and I'm just gonna pull the RGB gamma down to around 80%. And there you go, that is the RGB video effect complete. This is a really fun effect and it can really help to add a lot of character to your video. So I would seriously recommend using this effect in a future project.
Thank you for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, then please consider subscribing to see regular filmmaking and photography tutorials, Q and A's, rate your photography videos. I've got a lot coming up on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out. Once again, thank you for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you on the next video.